What is going on, guys? Insane Juggernaut back with another video. The next installment of League Drives with Jug. Uh, no, it's been a while since the last episode. Let's just kind of go over what's been going on and uh, what the future of the channel is going to be looking like. Uh, had college orientation this week, man. So had to put in a lot of time with that. Uh, got into time management early, man. Didn't have any time to make any type of mad mobiles or play mad mobile or anything like that just kind of was uh matriculating around the campus you know talking to other people uh learning about the place that i'm gonna be calling home for the next four years so uh grueling experience but it was cool met a lot of cool people man so uh that's cool on the mad mobile side of things man I'm very excited to be bringing you guys a video back. I haven't played Mad Mobile pretty much this whole week. I started back, like, last night playing a bunch of, like, random games against guys and stuff, man. I kind of needed this, man, because I was getting burnt out on Mad Mobile, man. I got, what, three, four days off just to not even get a chance to play Mad Mobile. Now, uh, my excitement is kind of back into the game, so that's kind of cool. That's kind of something I needed. So, with that being said, I'm very excited to get into this, uh... League versus league. We're facing a league ranked 476. Or so uh, they know how to play the game. They're not a top level league, but they know how to play the game. So uh, we can't take these guys, you know, for granted. Jed only put up 14. Jippo only put up 16, which is surprising because Jippo was pretty good. So uh, definitely got to take these drives patiently, move methodically on the field and score three times. Uh, first league drive back. I don't want to be any uh, depreciation in my game. So. We're going to try to uh, move down this field, man, and really uh, cause these guys a hard time. Put up 24. Usually I do this off cam, but I said, why not Why not do it on cam? Uh, definitely looking for ways to spice up the channel just a little bit as uh, Mad Mobile was coming to an end. I mean, there's not really much to spice up because sooner or later this thing is going to be gone anyway, man. I think in, what, two weeks or so we're going to get a new update two three weeks so um next season i think it has some promise we'll see how it goes uh hoping for the best next season um hopefully we can have another great season of mad mobile i think uh this channel grew so much this year man uh i remember the first video i posted was a coin making methods video i think that video that like 800 -ish views right now and uh I was hitting you guys with little coin methods, you know, discussion videos, stuff like that. As soon as I got into gameplay, I never looked back, man. Gameplay is something I really uh like. And even though we complain about Mad Mobile, a lot of BS that occurs, there's a lot of things in Mad Mobile that you see that is kind of organic to game day. So I think that we should give the developers of Mad Mobile, you know, a huge round of applause for that. Uh, obviously, they're making a lot of money off of Mad Mobile, but at the same time, they are trying to improve the game and make it one of the best mobile games that's out because personally this is maybe the best mobile game in my opinion ever so uh really great you don't have to spend money on the game guys i didn't spend a dime all year man just have fun you know i know ea is definitely a cash grab but you don't have to spend your money if you don't want to so uh keep that in mind when you're playing this game man it's not pay to play as much as people say that it's not pay to play man just have fun man Go cross up, see if uh got these long passes counted, cover three, but we should still be able to get to Jimmy Graham. <coughs> First and ten. Um hmm. We still go long pass here. Straight square half back screen. Man coverage. There we go, that stick work. Y'all see that stick work? <laughs> Yeah, we haven't played Mad Mobile all week, but uh, still got it, man. Got to be patient. Let those blockers do what they do. Uh, as soon as they get engaged, you're pretty good to go. So, as you can see, we get a great spread half back screen there against a zero blitz. And there's a two-point conversion for the first drive. First uh, Mad Mobile drive back, we do get in the end zone. That's a good thing. We've got two more drives to get in the end zone and do the same thing that we just did, but uh, pretty... Pretty uh, self-explanatory drive there. Long passes didn't get countered yet, and runs didn't get countered yet, so that's a good thing. We'll see how that works out next drive, but I'll see you guys then. 
Next drive, uh, like I said, man, runs and long passes did not get countered. As long as those aren't countered, then uh, it's really a wrap for you. I'm going to score against you, to be honest. So, um, going to see if we uh, encounter any counters. <laughs> See the uh, conception there. If we encounter any counters on this drive, and, uh, we'll adjust methodically. Yeah, kick out block misses. The guard doesn't pull. Just uh, kind of like the worst case scenario when you run double counter. It's going to get countered. Might have been a semi counter. She gone. There we go. <laughs> you see me swerved out the way and made him dive. That was a counter. I was like, is nickel? It has to be countered, right? So uh, semi counter, but uh, we do kind of get through there. Bunch halfback dive. It's like fifty fifty when you see that uh, nickel front because it's definitely gonna get countered. But at the same time, the middle is so wide open because it's in a nickel and both the defense tackles are in a. Uh, either three point stance, not three point stance, but yeah, three or four. So uh, the middle is wide open. You know what I mean. So uh, three technique and four technique. Damn it! I haven't played football in so long that and both of the defensive tackles are on the four technique. So it's you know pretty easy around the middle. <clears throat> yeah, it's tough there. Uh, both of the Defensive guys had pretty good leverage on the outside, so uh, pretty tough to kind of get in there. I watched on the film to make sure, but I I think that it's just a matter of uh, block shedding there, and there wasn't going to be anything I would be able to do, but I watched on the film. But uh, we got in the end zone, so as long as we score last drive, 20-22-ish, uh, 20, you know, not too bad. So see you guys in the last drive. Last drive. Uh, game plan that we're going against not not too crazy. Uh, been e able to easily score the first two drives, so hopefully uh, that remains the case here, and we can put up twenty two. A little upset we didn't get that two point conversion, but we'll definitely watch the film see if that was an error on our part or uh, we're just a victim of block shedding. So um. Yeah, we'll see. First and ten, cross up. Okay, double uh, double man on the outside. What we're going to do is we're actually, this is a new way I learned to run cross up when I'm against double man. What I'm going to do is uh, you see that they're in a dime defense. I'm going to kind of step back. I'm going to step back up so both the tackles can engage on these defensive ends. Then I'm going to scramble back, and I'm going to wait for Gronk to kind of clear past the right hash mark. I'm going to throw it to him, and then Dorsett will end up blocking for him from that uh, flat route. So, see if it goes to plan. Okay, uh, we got a completion, but Jimmy Graham usually runs that route for me, and he always gets more separation. That's why uh, play doesn't go as good as it usually does for us. think that Jimmy Graham, I don't know, that speed is just a big difference. I thought Gronk being a good route runner. He would be able to do the same thing, but uh, not sure. We got uh, man zero again, so Dorset is a read here. Oh, my God. That's why I cannot run head spread halfback screen. Every time I run it, it throws it to Mike Evans instead of the running back. And um, I can't be having fat finger picks in the league versus league. That's just not acceptable. So uh, going to kind of start shying away. From spread halfback screen because uh, that happens to me a lot more now than it used to. Oh yeah, strong eye spacing is called on third down. I love strong eye spacing, man. If it's man coverage, we're gonna throw to Mike Evans on the weak side. If it's zone, we're just reading a none what's a uh, girly. It is man, but uh, kind of you know when uh it's third and short, the defense kind of goes in the middle like it's like a, a run counter, and then they like go back to their spot. So you always got to hit the flats in those situations. First and 10, let's see if motion cross is countered. It's not. Okay. It's great. Forgot we didn't have a scramble, but. First and 10. Uh, Halfback angle. Damn. 
Damn, damn, damn. Uh, that was a decent read against man coverage, but I think uh, Andy Dalton hit the tackle or something, and the ball didn't get there with the velocity that it usually does when I throw that. And as a result, Dion does undercut it and pick it as he should. That's a tough pick, but um, not really the best read either, I guess. I mean, I always throw that against man coverage. That's never gotten picked off. But at the same time, it's not like that was a crazy play call either. Uh, we definitely should have called strip strong flood or a strong eye fullback middle. But um, just called it because it never gets picked off in this situation. Uh, Andy Dalton doesn't get the velocity that he usually does in that ball. And Dion undercuts it. So uh, there's a pick there. We watch the film. Uh, we'll obviously correct it. Go back to the league and this thing off, baby. In this installment of League Drives with Jug, very anticlimactic. We put up 14. Uh, probably the easiest game plan that I'll face uh, for the rest of Bad Mobile. And uh, we we failed big time here. So I um, think we've called pretty good play calling uh, throughout all three drives, which is uh, cool. Not really many bad play calls you can make when long pass and run are so open but uh we made some pretty good play calls uh halfback angle against two man under usually always uh roll out and hit the out route i think one thing that might have affected that was scramble button not being active not really a huge deal though i always throw that pass uh as soon as the the um wide receiver one on the right side breaks out um, he usually always has like inside position on that cornerback and he's able to kind of like turn and come back almost like he's catching a comeback route. It's like a really cool, but weird animation. But, uh, this time around, I think Andy don't hit like the tackler or something and the velocity of the ball didn't get there at all. And Dion was just waiting to pick it off. Cause it was like a, a like wobbling duck, man, but we'll definitely watch the film and, uh, we'll correct whatever happened on that play. But other than that, should have been an easy 22, 24, whatever the case may be. But uh, we only dropped 14, so we'll uh, watch the film. We'll get better, man. But I'm just glad to be back making content for you guys. Uh, obviously, as uh, college life comes around about next month around the new season, you're going to have to find a new upload schedule. But um, I'll definitely be getting Matt Mobile out just because it's something I love to do so much, man. Just not sure how much time I'm going to be able to put in next season. But I'm going to be trying my hardest, man. Because I uh, definitely love this mad mobile thing, man. But it's been your boy, Insane Jigging Up, with another video. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, do all of that, man. I really do love making mad mobile videos. I like hearing from every one of you guys, man. So any anybody that watched the video, like and comment, man. I look at all that stuff, man. I really do. I enjoy every single comment that I get. So leave a like and comment, guys. And uh, even if you don't like Matt Mobile this year, subscribe anyway, man, because new season's coming up. I'm going to be having those coin-making methods coming out, gameplay like usual. Going to uh, definitely make a push to be one of the best leagues next year. So uh, we definitely got a lot of things to look forward to next Matt Mobile season. But it's been your boy, Insane Jagger, on another video. Sign out. Peace.